interest. All right, now, let's talk about my cigarette now. No, Toby, we're not talking about your cigarette. But I'm going to find it. Well, no, you're never going to find it. Well, since we came here, what are we going to do now? Quiet, this is my story, not your story, now be quiet. We're not telling stories, and also, where's Kinesi and Joey? <laughs> Across the street. Oh, shut up, Toby! I don't need to talk to you right now! I am not a plan to what I do now! Kinesi, be quiet. Alright, so what's the situation here? Oh, I'm done, Jess. Kinesi, where are you going? No, I go away! Get over I'll get her later. That is disgusting. So, now that we're here, what's the whole situation about? Well, this all started about my cigarette. What do you mean, your cigarette? Well, maybe we should take this upstairs, because I can't stand this. I want my cigarette! 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 C -c -c cigarette! I'm Ventress. This house, since I couldn't find a door building. Please stay to your... Please state your name and business. Orange shirt. That idiot caused me of a villain for finding a stupid cigarette. I did not find anything. You need to be nice. Everything's about my cigarette. It's good for me and good for you. Calm down, calm down. No. As the lawyer here, you will all follow my ruling to dueling. Now, where's Toby? I want to go find my cigarette. Okay then, the defendant calls Joey up to the stand. I got a call from Toby and he said that, um, I mean, I got a call from Orange Shirt and he said that he, um, he was being a, a salt from a melody from Toby and, and so I assumed that it was Toby's fault. That is so not true. Cigarette you. Anyways, um, before we get to business, I need to ask Kinesi a few questions. Kinesi, um, what was your side of the story? Well, I'm not sure, but all I can tell you is that, is that, um, Each one of you, your side of the story. Okay, starting with you, Toby. Well, it started out as a normal day. I went home and I was asking Joey for my cigarette, but he rejected me. So then I went to Orange Shirt and I told him if he didn't find my cigarette, I would hit him in the face. And if he if he wouldn't find my cigarette, I would have I would have went to one of Lady Gaga's movies and said hello to her and got an autograph and Threw it away. That didn't make much sense. Okay, now for your side of the story, Orange Shirt. Well, I'll just say this. It was a perfect, normal day. I walked in, expecting to go to Lady Gata's stuff, and Toby was going to take me, but he lied. He said if I didn't find a cigarette, it would all be over, and I would never meet Lady Gaga or even get a... a an autograph from Lady Gaga. She's so freaking hot. No, 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 hold up! Since I'm the lawyer here, there will be no screaming or any dabbling. Now, where's Joey? Okay, where's Joey? Not Toby, no! Not Toby, no! Joey's in the back. Sure, tell me the truth. You should have done what I told. I don't think so. You should be more nice. All you care about is your stupid cigarette. I can't stand you and your cigarette. I can't believe you. No, you, you didn't follow my orders. We made a deal. You would find my cigarette and we would go to the Lady Gaga concert. 
I'm not talking to you anymore. Uh-uh. You listen to me, you bub. I want to listen to you. Now. Mucus. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I am out of here. Get back here. Get back here right now. Hurry up and get back here. Cigarette nothing. It's your back. It's now time to move on to plan B. I don't care. You're all what I say. And what I say is what I say. I am Red and Alexis. Alexis, all of you. Well, I guess this case is over. Not tell me now. Not tell me now.